another problem or cause for insufficient operating pressure is either a blown fuse or insufficient electricity. Now, before you check your electrical components on your reverse osmosis system, make sure you're wearing the proper PPE, and if you're uncomfortable, please make sure you get somebody certified to check it. Another possible cause for low operating pressure, your pump or your motor is not operating properly. The first thing you should check is rotation on your pump. Now, here on this particular pump, there's a rotation sticker that's telling you that it's supposed to be going clockwise. So, check these and make sure it's rotating the proper way. This can be done by looking back at the fan housing or, with safety in mind, taking off this guard and actually checking the rotation of the shaft. Bump testing this is a great way to determine whether or not the pump is operating in the right direction. The last thing on our list is possible causes for low operating pressure is a valve is closed or too far open. The pump discharge valve should be open all the way if you have one, or potentially even throttle back, depending on what pressures and flows you're trying to achieve. But another common area for low operating pressure is that your recycle valve or your concentrate valve is too far open. Make sure while your RO system is running and operating, that you adjust your concentrate and your recycle valves accordingly. Do not run your RO system with your concentrate valve fully closed. This can cause damage. This concludes our series, Low Operating Pressure, and our video troubleshooting series. Stay tuned as we talk about permeate flow reduction. And as always, we didn't talk about everything regarding low operating pressure. So if you're still experiencing problems after going through this troubleshooting video or our troubleshooting guide, please feel free to contact us toll free at 855-787-4200 or you can visit our website at www.complete-water.com and talk to one of our reverse osmosis specialists.